The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Hartford Yard Goats and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. Riding in, Carlos Herrera. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 1-1. One, one. High in the air out to center field. Hoover is right there, one down. Stepping in, Vince Fernandez. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Now to the plate, Tyler Nevin. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Nevin. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. No, that's a ball. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Hit to short. He's right there. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Coming to the plate now, Tim Tebow. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 3 1. Finds the zone to fill the count three and two. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now at the plate Michael Pius. He was responsible for both of his clubs runs batted in in last night's ball game. Down low two balls and a strike. One out nobody on. Takes this the other way to right. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Stepping in now, Derek Hoover. Line to the right side. But he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Will Toffee. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. To first, reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Second inning set to go. And digging in is the outfielder, Drew Weeks. The 1-1 one, one home. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land out there just foul. Oh. To two balls and two strikes now. Popped up. Coffee is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. So coming to the plate, Miles Jones, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. No score here as we play inning number two. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Uh, this will be foul off to the right out of play. A bouncer up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. That is good. The second baseman, Brett Boswell. At the plate, Brett Boswell. 
lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. There's a curveball, but it misses well out of the zone. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Oh, that's well hit. Deep center field. They're tracking it, but this is big trouble as it's down and it's going to roll a while. Jones rounds the corner and is headed home. And the runner will score from first. And he will make it all the way around the bases. It's an inside the park two run home run. Into the box, Alan Trejo. Oh, look at that stop. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Digging in now, Arvison Perez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Perez. Now the payoff pitch home. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So a two out knock, and we'll go a little deeper into the top of the second. Batting nine, the pitcher. Antonio in now Antonio Santos had nibbled the corner there but missed two and one you know I think he's having a hard time with that curveball right now and that's part of the reason why he struggled early on in the start it's so important to have command of those and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Riding into the box, Jeremy Vasquez comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Pulled toward right center field. Boswell onto the grass. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Into the box, Cody Bohannick. He enters play hitting in the 260s for the year. The 1-1 home grounder down the line at third but a foul ball one and two the count now swing and a miss at the curveball and there's your second out of the inning so striding forward now Quinn Brody try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second now the one and one pitch misses above the zone for a ball Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Lined into right, a base hit. To the plate now, Elise Sanchez. 1 1 pitch is a curveball that misses ball two. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Fernandez is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Carlos Herrera. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. The 1-2. One, two. Oh. Two, two. Oh. Oh. 
2 2 one more time. Soft liner to the right side. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So we'll see if they have something in the works here with the leadoff hitter aboard and a guy that can really handle the bat in the number so two spot. Number Into the box now, Vince Fernandez. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here. And when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys. And, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Digging in for his second at bat, Tyler Nevin. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. One of the most frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play, to get in those situations where you can try and do damage. What do you want, the nasty slider? And he holds off on the breaking ball, so the count runs full. Well, a 3-2 count and a guy that handles the bat up at the plate. This is a great time to put that runner on first in motion. Left side. And that's through into left field for a base hit. Now batting. Right fielder. Three. Three. So now to the plate. Two weeks. Fouled off. High in the air out towards shallow right. Brody is there and he makes the catch for the out. Digging in to try it again. Miles Jones. Two on, two out for him here in the third. The 1-1. One, one. Weak roller right side. He's got it. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Bottom of the third now, and next will be the pitcher, Walker Lockett. The 1 1. Is strike two swinging. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east west we came up playing. Jones is there and he has it for the first out. Now with the play, Tim Tebow. Both for one for him here in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. And the pitch. Outside and a full count, three and two. Hit hard back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. Stepping in now, Michael Pius. Now a curveball is in there, one and two now. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. Jones is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Stepping into the box, Derek Hoover, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Hoover. Here's a hard hit ball that'll be caught out there at short. Needed just a little more height on that one, but instead, the inning is over. Ball set for the start of the inning, and set to go is the second baseman, Brett Boswell. Now the one and one pitch. Two balls, one straight. There's a well-hit ball out to right center field. 
around first. He's digging for second. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Now that is Brooks. Alan Trejo. At the plate, Alan Trejo. At the ball. And that misses two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Even count two balls and two strikes. The 2 2. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly, and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Standing in, Arbison Perez. He reached on a single in his first try. One out and a runner on third. Fastball just inside. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. And there's out number two. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Antonio Santos. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Now the one and one pitch. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Pops this one up. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. It'll be the four hole hitter, Will Toffee. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. In now, Jeremy Vasquez. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now at the plate, Cody Bohannon comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's 3 and 1. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. Right fielder. Where? He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Change up just off the black, and it's 2 and 1. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And set to go is the third baseman, Carlos Herrera. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Too high that time, and it's three and one. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Bohannik backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first the out. Fielder, number eight. Stepping up Vince. to the plate, Vince Fernandez. Fernandez. He went down on strikes last time up. The 1-1. One, one. Hit to first. Scooped up. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Digging in once again. Tyler Nevin. The last time through was a base Tyler. hit. Nevin. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Two out, nobody on. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball, and he'll stick around. Hey. 
lifted in the air out to right. Brody is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Riding in once again, Ali Sanchez. He flew out in his last at bat. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Philip Deal enters to make now an appearance on the mound the as he inherits a runner at first yeah. with one out in the inning. Tebow. Tim Tebow will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. Another try at 2 2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And that's off the left field wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. The batter, number seven, second baseman, Michael. Hiya. Standing in now, Michael Pires. Line drive, base hit to right. And they're on the board as now it's a 2-1 ball game. The center fielder, Derek Hoover. To the plate now, Derek Hoover. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. This is foul right side. The one two hit back up the middle. There's one relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Madonis Yuseda takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. So here's the cleanup hitter, Drew Weeks. No hits to this point. 1-1. One, one. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's 3-1. and one. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. One there on the first. And how about that double play? Wow. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Brett Boswell. Now the 2 1 is a fastball whiffed on for a strike. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he is in to third with a triple. His third hit of the night. Now batting. Brookshot. Allen. Trejo. Into the box now, Alan Trejo. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Digging in, Will Toffee. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The 1-1 one, one is taken for ball two. That's 
three and one. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning, you've got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. And he's retired here one away. Ready now, Jeremy Vasquez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Low scoring game thus far. 2 to 1 here in the sixth. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Fouled away. Too high. Ball three. Cody Bohannon is on deck. Sharp ground ball to third. And there are two away now. Into the box now, Cody Bohannon. It was a walk in his last trip. Bohannon. A 1 1. Line shot to second, but it's caught, and the side is retired. Seventh inning ready to roll, and now it'll be the catcher, Arbison Perez. Skied into straightaway right. Brody moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. Grant You're Levine team, will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Grant We're in the seventh inning now, but pitchers duel two to one our score. Hit in the air to straightaway center. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Now batting the third baseman, Carlos Herrera. So now to the plate, Carlos Herrera struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Then digging in, Vince Fernandez. He was a ground-out victim last time up. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Tyler Kinley gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Tyler. Kinley. At the plate, Quinn Brody. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at-bats thus far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Two balls and a strike to count. And he misses again, ball three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. There's a ball ripped toward the gap in left center. He threw first and hustling for second. Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. Tying run headed home. Safe at the play. It's a 2-2 game. Now batting. The catcher. At the plate now, Elise Sanchez. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. Nevin is over, and he puts it away for the first down. Shervian Newton will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number three. One out, nobody on. Newton. Full count still. The 3 2 one more time. Slow roller left side. He's got it. Throw gets him. Two down. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Tim Tebow. He's two for three and looking for more here.
hit hard on the ground at first. But the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Stepping in and ready for another Come shot, on. Michael Pius. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. The 1-1. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Oh, and he can't come up with it. So striding in, Derek Hoover. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Ready with the 1-1. This year against right-handed pitching, Hoover brings in a batting average resting just under 320 and will look to inch closer to that mark with a base hit here. These are the type of hitters that absolutely frustrate a pitching staff and a pitching coach. He's not trying to do a ton of damage, but he's certainly going to put the ball in play and be a pest the entire season. Line to the right side, but a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. Corey Taylor has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 50, Corey. So stepping in, Tyler Nevin. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1-1 home misses for the second ball. Lays off the changeup, and he's ahead in the count now, three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And this is going to get down for what should be extra bases. And there's your potential go-ahead run. And he will make it in safely. He's in at third is the go-ahead run. The right fielder, number 15, Drew Weeks. In now, Drew Weeks. Rip down the first base line. And a reach with the backhand, but he comes up empty as that gets by him. And the go-ahead run will score from third as they've taken the lead here in the late going. The center fielder, Miles Jones. Standing in now, Miles Jones. And it's fouled away. The one-two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Standing in, Brett Boswell. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Now the 2 1. Down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2 and 2. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Now batting. Now batting, Alan Trejo. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. The 2 1 is a swinging strike. Fly ball down the left field line, and he's not going to get there. It's down for extra bases, but that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. In to score is the runner from first. It's five to two. Tyler Bachelor gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top the of the eighth. to the plate now Arbison Perez and he fouls this one off 
The one two. Nope, that's off the plate. Sent on the ground out to second. Fro gets him two down. Francesco Feliciano will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number six, Francesco Feliciano. All even now, two and two. As a look, now the pitch. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. Reed Humphreys is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 55. Stepping up now, Will Toffee. Ready with the one and one. Nope. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off a hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. Now that Ready once again, Jeremy Vasquez. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 1-1 home. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. The 1-2. Here's a fly ball well hit. Oh, there is nobody that's going to corral this one. This could be an inside the Parker. Toffee rounds third and is digging for the plate. And the runner will score from first. Vasquez takes the turn at third. He wants it all. And he's safe at the plate as it's now a one-run ball game. Stepping in now, Cody Bohannon. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. Didn't miss by much there, but it's just a bit high. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots, and now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Full count, three and two. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. At the plate, Quinn Brody. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Brody. The 1-1. One, one. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for round number two. At the plate, Ali Sanchez. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Boswell will put this one away and the side is retired. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Carlos Herrera, he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's going to make it safely. And a great start to the ninth as it's a leadoff triple. The left field, number eight, Vince Fernandez. Into the box, Vince Fernandez. And he'll strike out here yet again as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Tyler Never. The 3 1. So there's ball four. And it wouldn't surprise me a bit to see the next guy get four wide ones as well. Now batting, right field. Digging in, Drew. Drew Weeks. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled off. The one two.
Runners are at first and third, one away. Lifted in the air to center. Center fielder on the run. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And they'll go ahead and tack another to their lead as it's now a 6-4 to four ball game. Coming to the plate now, Miles Jones. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Julian Fernandez is the man now, called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Peter Pascal will be summoned to pinch hit here to start the bottom of the ninth. And remember, they need two to tie, three to win. So he's got his work cut out for him here. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tied run to the plate. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Takes this the other way to right, and that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench as he's aboard to kick off their half of the inning. Into the box now, Tim Tebow. Count is one and two now. From the stretch. Misses, ball two. Haskell gets his lead at first, nobody out. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now Stepping into the box, Michael Pius. He was able to reach base thanks to an error in his last at bat. Outside, two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Sky down the left field line. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Right side. To second for one, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Into the box now, Derek Hoover. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Line to the right side. But this is taken in as a perfect metaphor to end this one as that ball was hit hard, but the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. The Yard Goats came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Tyler Kinley earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. Julian Fernandez records the save, his 13th of the year. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious Yargo. Six runs on 12 hits. Two errors, they left eight men on base. For Binghamton, four runs on eight hits. No errors, they left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.